All right, it's time for three more ramen, and this time we have Gotsumori Salt Wonton Ramen. Uh, it's got chicken with onion and garlic and little wontons. Usually the wontons in these are pretty good. I guess there's some sesame in there too, but let's try this out. These wontons are nice and big. Look at that. The noodles are thin, they're okay. Um, the broth is actually a nice, very simple, salty, savory broth, like very clean taste to it, but most importantly, let's try this one more time, look at this big guy, pretty good, um, nice little m meat pockets, that doesn't sound appetizing, but they almost taste like a little fried, and they're just like very, very satisfying for, considering they're an in instant noodle thing, pretty good, I'm always surprised at how good the wontons are in these, like you think they'd be nasty, but they're actually pretty good. Maybe slight, slightly oniony, but mainly it's just like a nice, clean, salt broth flavor. I really like it. Oh, yes, and there's meat chunks. They're just kind of mushy little salty meat nuggets. Again, not very appetizing sounding, but actually pretty all right. All right, let's try the broth. Nice, nice, clear taste. It's like a, yeah, like a garlic, like lightly garlicky, salty broth. It's very pleasant. You can get a closer look. You see the noodles are thin, nice light colored broth. There's a little meat chunk right there. Um, let's see if I can find a wonton in here. And here you can see one of the wontons. Actually a pretty nice, decent size considering they're just little the wontons you get inside an instant bowl. Yeah, pretty big. I've yet to be disappointed by any of these instant bowls with wontons. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. The uh, the wontons are solid, the broth is simple but satisfying. Uh, this is good shit. Wontons rule. All right, here's ramen number two. This is kitsune soba. Uh, kitsune means fox in Japanese, and uh, I guess kitsune soba is fried tofu. Uh, and I guess this has a shoyu soy sauce broth, but I'm very interested as to how instant ramen is gonna do fried tofu. This could either be very tasty, like the wontons, or Tastes like shit. I feel like there, there can't be an in between here. So let's, I'm very curious. All right, here it is. And as you can see, look at this giant rectangle. I guess this is the tofu. I hope it's good because it's a giant portion. It looks like foam, but let's try it. You never know. Hmm. Hi, Shelby. Texture wise, this is kind of like a sponge. This is exactly what I imagine eating a sponge is like. Maybe a little softer. Let me try the noodles first, because I gotta see if I'm tasting the broth here or the tofu. Soba's not bad. Yeah, pretty solid for instant soba. Let's try this broth though. This is very sweet. Not in a bad way. It's actually, considering I'm eating a sponge, um, I'd rather it be like a sweet, like flavorful sponge. It tastes pretty good. It is. Sweet, it soaks out the soy sauce broth, so it's kind of like a sweet, savory kind of thing. Uh, here's a closer look at it. It, This is just a sponge, I think. I don't think this is too far. I think they just put a sponge in here, and I'm willingly eating it. Um, so it tastes pretty all right. I would not seek that out again to eat, but um, as a flavor, it was pretty good. It added some sweetness to this meal that it, it's kind of lacking because it's, it's pretty much like a straight soy sauce broth. Not, not bad for a sponge. Nice flavor of the soba. It's that sort of like kind of a grainy taste of the soba goes well with the soy sauce broth. Here's a closer look sans uh, uh, tofu sponge. Um, yep, just brown broth, light brown noodles. Um, you can see little, I think, chunks of meat, but I don't see any here at the moment. But yeah, pretty much your standard looking uh, Instant soba. Yeah, it, otherwise it's it's surprisingly sweet and tasty for a sponge, but it has the consistency of a sponge. Soba's pretty solid, just kind of soy sauce, soba, all along. Not bad. Uh, actually, pretty good. All right, here's our final ramen. Uh, this is sauce yakisoba. I am so hungry right now, so I'm actually very excited just to eat something. Um, all right, this is yakisoba and the sauce. I think it's pretty much just Classic yakisoba. It's what you you can fuck. It's yakisoba. All right, let's cook it. All right, here it is. You can take a look. It's just brown ass sauce and yakisoba noodles. Um, all right, let's let's see how it tastes. It smells just like um, a sweet uh, Worcestershire kind of sauce. 
it's baby hunger talking, but damn, that is satisfying. Um, the noodles are thin, but the sauce, it's like sweet, tang, very tangy. It's got a great sort of almost like fruity, like, uh, but savory, soy saucy, sweet flavor. Like I said, teriyaki, Worcestershire, that kind of thing. And what I love about instant yakishoba is they give you a lot. Like that's a shitload of noodles in there. Um, there's like a couple veggies. The veggies are pretty negligible. They're not, there's like barely any and they're fine. But if you just want a lot of saucy ass noodles and you want them in like three minutes, like this shit's so satisfying. Sweet and tangy and delicious. Fuck yeah. And I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm hungry as shit. All right, that was three ramen. See ya.